With military recruitment down and the need for soldiers greater than ever, some say it's time for the military to change its policy of barring homosexuals from enlisting. Well, joining us today from the Pentagon is General Robert McBrayer. Thank you for coming. My pleasure, Brandon. General, the military has been easing restrictions on enlistment in almost every area, on criminals, uh, older veterans, even those with serious medical conditions. But why not gays? Gay people are different, Brandon. Under no circumstances can we put America's homosexuals in danger. But homosexuals themselves are demanding the right to serve their country in a time of war. Gays of America are the only group left untouched by war. They're special, pure and rare, like a gleaming diamond or a snow-white colt. We must protect them. Well, has this always been the goal? It has been the solemn oath of every man in uniform to lay down his life in defense of America's precious, precious homosexuals. How many soldiers' lives is the life of one gay man worth? Seven. General, tell us about the don't ask, don't tell policy, which many see as discriminatory. Seven. The reason we instituted that policy was because we knew we would never be able to keep out all the gays. To know that any of them managed to enlist and put themselves in harm's way, it would break our hearts. All of the top commanders know. We love them too much. So you're saying that the military's entire purpose is to fight so that homosexuals don't have to? Nor should their fragile psyches be subjected to the horrible sights that occur on the battlefield. Their pure minds should be reserved for thoughts of man-on-man -man or woman-on-woman -woman romance. Well, thank you for clarifying this very sensitive issue for our viewers, General McBrayer. My pleasure. God bless America and her gays. Fortnite kid. Well